What is the crack lads? Welcome back to another video. The throat is a bit sore today but hopefully you guys enjoy this one. This is going to be taking a look at the match pass rewards and doing a bit of a review and a bit of a discussion on Gavi who is with the value reward there with the value match pass. He's the reward for that and then Makoko who is the premium reward in the premium match pass. So there's a couple of different things to look at here when you are looking at these players, right? We are going to be heading over to eFootball DB in just a minute to check out. Obviously, the pick of him, I would say, is Makoko because he's just such a unique player. He's got blistering pace. He's a really exciting player. He's under, you know, 23. Gavi is as well. Gavi's a very young player as well, so they fit in with that youth manager. Um, they both have excellent player skills. They both have team play style, which is 90 and comparing them to their standard version, which we'll do here in a second, there is no real comparison. So if you know if you're playing with the standard version of Gavi, like this this version of him is going to be so much better. And similarly with Makoko. But obviously then as well is as I said in the last the last video that I did about the match pass, is it worth it? If you've already unlocked the match pass and you got Gareth Bale before, or you got um, the other premium uh, match pass from last month. And you got the reward for that, Tadic. I do think that at 500 for the value match pass and 1,000 for the premium match pass, you definitely, you know, you definitely have to make sure that you are going to be going to be getting the most bang for your buck out of these match passes. Because do I honestly think that Mukoko is worth 1,000 coins? Um, I probably don't. But then you factor in as well that you're going to be getting a load of XP. And you're going to be getting maybe three to four top class players with this match pass. But for the sake of this, we've already covered that in the last video. If you are, you know, thinking whether you should get these players or not, there are there are players out there that are very, very, very good and that are probably better than these players. But it's just that they are kind of unique players and people have been asking whether they're worth it or not. So for the premium match pass, we're going to take a look at Makoko in a sec over here on eFootball DB. The biggest problem with his card, I think, lads, is the fact that he has got a standard form. And, at you know, the way things are at the moment with the season and obviously with the World Cup, um, that's probably, you know, the, his form is not going to probably change for at least another week or so. So that's something to keep in mind. Now, away from that, right, away from that, when you are looking at him here, he does start off at a 79 overall. He's got 31 levels to go. And his actual card itself is very, very good, right? He's got super sub, which makes him a game changer. He's also got a load of really good dribbling skills, so you don't need the dribbling too much. If you've got really good player skills, you can get away with lower stats and vice versa. Um, if you've, you know, got really bad player skills, you can get you can kind of um overcompensate by like maxing out maxing out their stats that need it. So this guy's got rising shot, first time shot, and uh chip shot control, which is very, very good. But he's also got really good dribbling stats and he is a goal poacher and the super sub is is game changing as well. So when we do actually max out his stats here, this is how I've trained him up. You know, there's no need to get obsessed with having the best overall. You should just be obsessed with getting the best version of the player for you. So if you're more, you know, comfortable dribbling, boost up his dribbling a bit. If you aren't a great dribbler, then you need to obviously, you know, boost up his finishing a little bit so that you know what you're going to be getting. Now, for me, I think that we're just going to be using Makoko if we do end up getting him as like kind of an absolute speed injection of pace and a pure 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 raw speed bringing him in on the 70 minutes and just playing maybe like a two up front or a three up front if we are chasing a goal and maybe bring him on with collar and just have that kind of ying to collars yang where we have a really tall athletic uh striker that's aerially like dominant that can knock the ball down and then makoku who's just going to come in with those fresh legs as a super sub and just be able to shoot on sight 83 finishing is enough offensive awareness is is fairly okay as well but his balance speed and acceleration is what you're going for there now as i said if you were looking to if you were looking to um you know boost him up a little bit and you want to focus a little bit more on dribbling and stuff you could get away with the low, lowering this a little bit right you don't really need max stamina if you're only going to be bringing him on it, this is what i'm talking about like don't focus too much on his overall ability focus on what you actually need to play him as right so if you are looking at that you could actually get a good lot of stats into this to bring him up to nearly 80 and dribbling 
and then you could also put up a couple onto shooting as well if you wanted to so you could lower that even one more and then you could put one more into acceleration to bring up everything there or you could put up another into dribbling to get that up to 80 so it depends how you want to train him up but for me i would probably boost him that way i would probably have his offensive awareness his acceleration and his balance up really really high his finishing up high as well i mean if you can't finish with a player that's 83 um then you need to head into the training mode because you should be able to finish 70 percent of shots if he's got over 85 86 finishing you should be able to score an eight or eight out of nine uh 80 percent of your shots and then you know anything over 90 percent, you should be banging them in so yeah i think that that's probably the best card like max out his acceleration balance and offensive awareness so he makes those crazy runs uh when the ai are controlling him and then obviously his finishing and his dribbling will be very very high as well for just that pure pace so how you compare him to his regular version right this is his regular card he's got 47 levels he doesn't really compare because the dribbling on this card is so much better like it's massively better his pace is obviously better his speed is better his balance is way better his offensive awareness is better his curl is better everything well his not curl isn't too much better but everything is better really by one or two points but you could get away with just getting his standard version testing him out and then play 20 or 30 matches if you like him then you could unlock the premium match pass and unlock all the rewards and so on we also have gabby here so Gavi is another very interesting one and this card is absolutely insane that we have here of Gavi. Starts off at an 82 overall, he's got 29 levels to go. Now Gavi, I would have liked to seen him have unwavering form. I think that would have made his card super OP but every stat he has is complemented by every player skill that you could possibly need. Brilliant dribbling skills, brilliant passing skills. He doesn't have like any defensive skills like interceptor or anything like that, but you're going to be using Gavi as a pure kind of center midfielder, attacking midfielder, absolute beast uh, of a player. And he's also got trickster and incisive run, which is going to be key for the role you're going to be playing with him. Now, over on eFootball DB here, we do have him trained up to a 93 overall. We put four into shooting to get his curl up for passing and stuff like that. We put nine into passing to get it up to 90 low pass, 85 lofted. Dribbling is going to go to a 90, 91, and 92 for those three stats at eight and then dexterity is going to be nine lower body strength is going to be seven so you're going to have a really really good player here lads 87 acceleration 97 balance ball control and passing in the 90s absolutely insane as well as aggression and defensive engagement for a center midfielder is quite decent as well and this is how he trains up compared to his other player his other card uh, and how he compares up there he is 89 overall center midfielder and again we've had to pump in a lot into shooting and a lot into dribbling to get those stats you know comparable but it still doesn't really compare because you're down on the defense you're down on the speed you're down on the ball control you're down on the passing like this card is insane when you look at it one of the best pound for pound center midfielders in the game and an even better attacking midfielder like this guy could be a game changer for you if you're really comfortable on the ball but he won't suit everybody so do i think that the match pass is worth it for these two players depending on which one you buy depends your play style but yeah they are excellent cards if it was me i'll probably try and get gabby i do have the, the coins there um i might buy the premium one and get my 300 coins back and then obviously see if i put that towards the value pack um but yeah we will see what happens obviously they're going to be continuing to bring more and more players uh and better versions of the players as the game goes on so it would be interesting to see who they add next week but yeah that is it my review on gabby and makoko in the match pass so hope you enjoyed it lads we are back with a bang with all these pack reviews so let me know if you're enjoying them let me know if you're going to subscribe and i will talk to you later peace hope you have a good one